Thank you, Waha. It's nice to see you today. My name is uh, Stacey S., Assistant Principal, Walla Walla High School. I'm addressing you for Black History Month. But really, every day is all about us. We all belong here. And every part of us, inside me and inside you, is a piece of all of us. And I want to thank you for allowing me to have this time to be before you and talk a little bit about uh, the Testament of Hope with Dr. Martin Luther King and several different writings. He is the only major one volume collection of his writings, speeches, interviews, and autobiographies and reflections of Mar Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on a nonviolent social party, integration, black nationalism, and the ethics of love and hope and more. Some one, the Kansas City Star said, this is the most powerful and enduring words of a man who touched the conscience of the nation and the world. That was by the Kansas City Star. A little brief sentence says, time to break silence. Dr. Martin Luther King delivered a historical address at a meeting in the clergy in the Latin concern. The meeting was held in the Riverside Church in New York City on four, April 4th, 1967, exactly one year before he was assassinated. Although this was not the first volume he had expressed opposition of the Vietnam War. It was the first time he had linked it to civil rights movement and that it was the first time that he directly attacked the Johnson administration war policy. See, Dr. Martin Luther King was very nonviolent, but he didn't believe that violence was the answer. And I will tell you, as you communicate with one another and communicate with your parents, friends, different unknown folks, we need to learn more how to process with the brain and not in a violent manner, because we're all better than that. Uh, as we talk about the next one is slave testimonies. It was one that I found really, really intriguing. Um, and a lot, it was by William Cornish, interviewed in 1863 in Canada. And I'm saying, okay, Canada, why, why will we talk about Canada? Well, I was born in Eastern Shore of Maryland. It came here, and he came here in 1853. I had a very good time down in Maryland, considering I was a slave. I didn't come here because I was abused. I came here just for freedom. You know, things like that in the slave testimony, old and times reading almost 200 years ago. Can you imagine that? What, what clever things we get, but more than anything in Black History Month, Really understand, this is all of our month. We're all connected in some kind of way. Through love, hope, service, connection, education, we are a community of one. Thank you so much for enjoying the readings and the announcement. Thank you so much for letting me have this time. I value you. Have a great Friday. Thank you.